Hi there and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales Boat video. What we're going to be doing today is giving you a review of a Nimbus 27S Nova. Now we're down at our home at Hamble Point Marina today and this is the boat behind me. The boat is a really really lovely example and what's really important is the build quality from a Nimbus is really really exceptional. Now we haven't sold a huge number of Nimbuses before and so it's really nice to have a good look over this boat, see some of its features and benefits. So what we're going to do is we're going to start um, running down the boat here so you can see what the boat looks like from the outside and then we're going to go on inside so I can show you everything there is to see about the boat. Now the side deck access, you can get access to both sides of the Nimbus, um, however you'll notice this side the decks are particularly narrow, that's because the main side deck access is on the other side and I'll show you that in a moment. Now at the rear of the boat you can see some really nice uh, stainless steel fender holders here and there's a really nice stainless steel gate set up uh, which makes it a really nice family social space so ideal for relaxing but equally because you can put the gate in you can make it really nice and secure for children. Um, you can see a stern drive down there nestling in the slightly murky handle water. Uh, that is powering a Volvo Penta D4 260 horsepower engine which I'll of course show you later. Now one of the features you might notice on the stern here is the excess for a rear anchor. Now all of that is all set up on board the boat that is accessible inside the engine room and you have an anchor that can go on there. Now this being a Scandinavian boat um, rear anchoring is really really nice um, thing to do at the um, Scandinavian archipelago um, so it's a very popular option on the Nimbuses. So what I'm going to do is step aboard. You'll notice going on board there is a really nice easy step access. On quite a few boats what tends to happen is it's quite hard to straddle over the top of the bathing platform but no such problem on this one where you can just step straight onto there. You've got easy grab handles here and then stainless steel rails all the way around. Stainless steel bathing ladder and then this whole area is laid to teak. Um, you've got a nice umbrella um, cockpit upholstery here which is very very nice to touch and is all in excellent condition there is no rips tears um, or marks anywhere on this upholstery what I'll do is I'll start at the back of the boat and I'll work my way forward um, you've got a manual bilge pump here um, so should the bilge pumps um, fail you're able to get access to a manual bilge pump there and then lots and lots of locker space and as I go through this boat I think you'll be really impressed um, the all lockers open up with the gas strut here and then the storage space inside here there's cleaning materials there's a spare fender and there's even a little um, fun inflatable tender in there so I'll close that up around here you can see the side accesses now the boat does have a little bit of winter green on it at the moment where that tends to happen this time of year down on the Hamble River nothing that a stiff brush wouldn't bring that straight up again but you can see from the side here that the GRP work is in really nice condition and she's a really nice example the radar arch on this boat is a stainless steel radar arch and you can see up there nestling at the top is a Ray Marine radar. Now that's one of the very latest quantum radars because all of the electronics on this boat have been upgraded and I'll come on to more details about that later. So at the rear as you can see this little seat here and inside this locker this is the gas locker nice stainless steel catch lift that up you've got the gas locker there and then more storage here where the owner keeps some cleaning materials I'll pop that back down you may notice just out at the bottom there there's little um, courtesy lights there's courtesy lighting throughout the whole of the cockpit here I'll come back and show you the engine a little later but if I carry on working my way forward now the boat at the moment is set up um, with the table in place here this is a really neat design and gives a really nice dining area and what you have up in the top here of this cockpit is the galley so start right up here in the cockpit you have an, one of the Eno two burner gas hobs in there you have a sink here with hot and cold water you have storage cupboards in here so lots of cleaning materials and the bin in there and then as we look through each of the different cupboards they're all nicely secured nice latches and then in here you have all, um, really nice cutlery it's all Nimbus branded and then each of these lockers houses crockery 
and there's even some pots and pans and mugs for teas and coffees down here so lots and lots of storage all in this area now as you can see i've got this open at the moment now there is a cover which zips into here which completely encloses this area now what makes that really nice and cozy is you may hear that slight whir, whir in the background of one of the Eberspatcher heating. Now this boat has got fitted with Eberspatcher heating. There's a vent just down there and it pumps out a huge volume of hot air. Very, very impressed by the, the heat that comes out of that. I turned that on um, probably only 10, 15 minutes ago and already this cockpit, although it's open at the back, is actually significantly warmer than outside. So if we move forward to the, the helm unit, now as I mentioned earlier we've got an extensively upgraded electronics package on this boat. Now this is a Raymarine Axiom 12. Now this is um, the largest consumer size that Raymarine do in the Axiom 12. It's a lovely big display there you can see. Now the, the Axioms have got some really lovely features and um, you can even play Netflix on them which is a little bit random but that would give you a television screen up here. Um, all of the chart features that you'd expect and just by the side that is called an RMK10 and what that is is it's the ability to remote control the Axiom. Some people find that the totally uh, lack of buttons on on the, the touch screens is difficult so this owner has fitted an RMK10 so you've got all of the features and the home buttons the ability to add waypoints all featured there. You've got the Volvo Penta EDC controls, sorry, EVC controls here, and then here you can see your engine start facilities, all the carling switches, and this boat is also fitted with a bow thruster. All the switches here. You've got here an ICOM VHF, and then all your breakers down underneath here with some documents, um, and you've even got um, a GPS EPUB just under there and a fire extinguisher. So really nicely um, configured helm unit, all of your controls are easily to hand, and then you've got all of your Volvo Penta dials up here, including a Fusion head unit which has Bluetooth, so you can connect that to your phone and get all of your stereo there. So it's a really nicely laid out area. And what I'll do a little later is I will convert this area to show you how it folds down, because what happens is this table folds down, it goes flat against the bulkhead, and that chair there lifts up and provides an additional co-pilot and another person facing the forward seat. So very very well equipped, everything that you need and it's really nice and cosy here, lots of headroom under the covers. So let's carry on down below. Actually something I should have mentioned is just under here is a fridge. There's a pull-out fridge there, um, it's got a few beers in it, um, ideal for, for day trips and, and bay hopping. So let's go down below. it's really cozy down here and um, one of the nice things though is excellent headroom the design of the boat means if I spin the camera around here you can see that there is still plenty of headroom once you're down below and um, it does tail off as you go and sit down or you get into the, the front cabin here um, but it's really cozy um, again with the heater on it's heated up incredibly quickly down, uh, down here few little nice features again on this boat it shows that the owner really really cares is that just under each of the uh, mattresses here you can see there's this layer um, which allows the air to breathe under so you don't get any moldy mattresses you've got really nice reading lights um, throughout the boat here you've got a nice big open hatch and then lots and lots of storage down here so there's a couple of sleeping bags he keeps down there and some life jackets um, there's a little table here, this could be used to have a meal if you wanted to be down here um, or could be used to put up some, um, so perhaps a table lamp and then in here, this area here is used as like a, all the documents are in there from the boat and while referring to documents you can notice on this side there's a builder certificate. Quite often we scrub around to try and find all the documents on boats to make sure that um, buyers of boats from us have a, a full inventory of documentation. The builder certificate here uh, actually on the wall stating it's 2008 Nimbus 27 Nova S just over 8 meters um, Volvo D4260 and you've even got the name and the address there of the person that commissioned the boat. Um, you'll see on there that it is a UK boat so the boat has always been based in the UK. Down here, if you look all the way down to the back there, you've got 
this extra sleeping area so i would say that's a it's a single bed but you could get two friendly um people in there It'd be a, a friendly couple but there's certainly enough space there and the infill cushion to allow this to convert into a large double bed here so a really nice amount of space here um two couples could go away for a night or two um there's certainly enough space speaking about space something that has really impressed me if i just close this door just the door all closes up there to make this a nice enclosed private area is nice. open up here you can see the heads now in here is a really lovely space you've got typical nimbus quality you've got real wood um, all around the sides here now the toilet is an is a manual flush system um, but you do have this c smart sanitizer system now these are getting really popular now and what they do is they sanitize uh, the pipes right the way down to the seacock so it avoids that nasty whiff of, um, of marine toilets when you leave them for a period of time you've got a locker under here you've got a mirror here and if you remove your charts from the chart table above, in fact, you've got a skylight in here as well. So it's a massively large heads um, for a 27 foot boat. You'll also notice down there the all important Eberspatch event um, for the heating. It's quite often boats miss that and don't put a heating vent into the toilet, but it's a really nice thing to have. Uh, the carpet on this boat is all in nice condition. Um, the blinds all work, the hatch works. You've got a, a painting on the wall here and then these reading lights, as I've mentioned. You've got speakers down at the bottom there. So you've got two zones of speakers. You've got speakers up in the cockpit and also down here and just a really nice space to be. And I have to say it's really cozy in here, um, particularly on a cold day like this, having the heating running, um, it would be a nice place to, to put your feet up and read a book. So I'm just going to go back upstairs again and this time I'm going to head round to the stern and have a look in the engine bay. So the engine bay is accessed with these uh, stainless steel latches, just lift them up and twist them. And they've got really powerful gas struts on this so I only need to put a tiny tiny amount of pressure on there which opens up that engine bay and you can see it is very very clean. You laugh and say eat your dinner off an engine bay, this one you pretty much could do. Um, this we've mentioned is the common rail d4 260 horsepower volvo penta engine it's a really powerful unit in this uh, we went out and did the drone footage that you can also see on our channel and the boat really leapt onto the plane and performed exceptionally well just down into the engine bay you can see that there is the stern anchor mechanism you've got the raymarine transducer there which is a through hull system and everything in very very clean tidy nice easy to access you've obviously on all the d4s you've got these clear water filters which is easy to look in to make sure there's no gunk in there which of course clean out after each trip it's lined and insulated so it's also a very quiet when running boat that's something the d4s are nice quiet engines but then you've got all this good quality nimbus sound deadening in here as well so to pop this down again all i'm going to do is just hold on to that and just drop that down. Just pop those catches closed as well. If I now walk around to give you, show you the side access, because you've got this radar arch, you've got lots and lots of handholds, which is really, really good. Um, oh, I've just noticed on here, I hadn't seen that before, that's the Fusion DAB um, aerial. So you'll have DAB um, radio through the, um, the headset. So walking forward, loads and loads of grab handles. And you can walk forward here onto the foredeck. A good size space here, lots of space people could um, yeah, stand around here, chat. You've got an electric windlass um, which can be shown here all, all working. That's just the down and the back up again. And you may have noticed a really nice thing that I'm a big fan of and that's the stain a stainless steel anchor. Um, it really does look smart on there so you've got a good quality shackle um, and a Lumar winch there. The boat overall is in excellent condition. As I've mentioned, it is a little winter green, as I call it at the moment, um, just where the boat is. It is mid-January mid at the moment, um, and she could do with just a, a scrub down of the decks. But everything that you need um, is all here. Let me just come back to this area here. This is set up, as I mentioned earlier, as a dining area. Now, it's very easy to convert this into um, a co-pilot and another person's helm seat. So a co-pilot and another person's viewing seat facing forward. And I'm just going to do that now. 
So the first thing to do is just to release the, the table. So you just lift that up and that easily drops down into position there and that just lays back there and clips down. Very, very easy to do. And so now that's away, what I will do is just convert the seat. So what you need to do is, I'm just gonna hold the camera here. You pull that forward, lift that up, and then there's a little pin here. Just pull out the pin and the seat snaps down into position there. So you can see very, very quickly, this is now converted into a helm seat, a co-pilot seat, and enough space there for one other person. So there's two people here. What's nice to see in a, in a co-pilot seat is the thought through of a nice grab rail here. So if the waves do get a little bit bumpy and it's a rough ride, then you've got here a good handrail. I think the attention to detail in this boat is excellent. Nimbus have got a very, very good following and they have a great reputation for building high quality boats. And this boat is absolutely no exception. I'm just gonna wander down and go back outside again. Just stepping off the boat, just to there. I'm going to spin the camera around. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the, the Nimbus 27S Nova. Um, it's a lovely, lovely example and a really nice boat, which is finished to an excellent level. Uh, lots of attention to detail there on this boat. Um, really, really like it. This boat is available from Parker Adams Boat Sales. There is also a drone video, which we've done on this boat. We do this, these walkthroughs and drone videos are standard on all of our listings. So do have a look through. We hope you like this boat. Do get in touch with us for any more information. She's down here at the Hamble Point Marine um, she's also dry stacked and so the boat is kept out of the water she is copper coated but she's kept out of the water here but if anybody would like to arrange a virtual viewing where I can actually take you over the boat um, arrange a, via, perhaps via zoom or skype um, during this time of the the third lockdown in the UK then just let me know um, otherwise any questions please feel free to comment on the video below and we'll do our best to answer it as quick as possible just to give you another quick Look down the sides of this boat here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. This is the Nimbus 27S Nova.